Well, better late than never. Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, it's been a while since I did one since Yao show, but we're back again making another guide. But this time, it was Caesar King. And I gotta be honest, this character to me is like, damn, this insane, like, gives you everything you want, like, big shield. Some stun due to being impact and have a lot of days and a basic tech and has a lot of supportive capability like she can do a lot and almost everything very universal but i will get to that later in this video i want to talk about her kit how to play she how kit works her w engine drive this teammate and more and time stamp for you guys if there's a part you want to see obviously in the video or in the description to see where it is and yeah enjoy the video all right i guess the big thing which is start with is the king is her core passer because that's how like the biggest value in her kit but one is how you increase the shield strength which is true caesar king impact and while the shield applied to you you get a massive attack buff based on the core passive level and this attack buff is insane because for one it's not no little buff like when you max out caesar core passive you can max out the attack buff to 1000 percent and 1000 attack is no joke hell the one before that 900 attack is still really good just for having a shield applied to you and you don't need no sub that just level the core passive is insane and for caesar fraction buff for one day you need a member from either anyone from the sons of caledon or anyone that can do a defensive parry and once that requirement met like for one caesar make the enemy take 25 percent more damage for 30 seconds like as you see on screen i perfect parry caesar you want and you see this little mark on the enemy which is really good but then going back to the shield right caesar's shield has the active ability to increase your hindrance making you get knocked up basically non-existent so if you accidentally like missed time at dodge or you got caught like Second, like you're not gonna get punched as hard with Caesar Seal. And for how long the shield lasts, like when you max out like the core pass, it's like 90 seconds. Oh, unless your enemy break your shield, but that shield is like so easy to reapply. But now if we talk mostly the other skills, which is her X special, then she skills of impact. Like she has also like higher days multipliers. Which go for counters by perfect blocking enemy, which it basically means when you do a perfect counter for what it has a lot of days in it which means you can stun the enemy quicker like a stun character which is actually really good if you only have like ambi as your only stun character like a respectable amount but you're gonna have to do all the perfect counters and your basic tech actually have a little decent amount of days so if you want you can like on feel her a little bit to try to stun the enemies but i would recommend it trying to switch around your character doing chain attack with caesar king or like chain stun or dodge assist these also have this like cc ability when you use a charge attack and for what it is it's pretty decent especially against like trash mobs and then you have an ultimate which does damage and have a lot of days in it but problem is until everyone get their own ultimate you wouldn't exactly be using this now unless you really like it and just want to use it and overall for recommendation i would go obviously the core passive which is where most of the value be coming from for x special then you can go chain attack dodge if you feel like it ultimate kind of low priority until everyone has their own ultimate and do whatever the hell you want with the basic attack and not like a very like down down version of like a hold kit but you gotta get the gist of what she does she has shield this like buffer and can be like a proactive stun character especially when you get the perfect counters up like it goes for for real hey look it, it's me but actually talking while playing like damn could you believe it <laughs> But anyways, for like Caesar King W engine, you really have a few options really because since she killed off impact, your options are very limited for now at least. Because if we go here, database, give us a specific type we want, defense, defense. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why brain fire not too much. Okay. So the problem with Caesar King, the fact that as I said before, she skilled off impact. And the thing with that is the fact that not a lot of W engines have like a main stat of impact, so we're kind of forced with a few options. And one of these options is this W engine right here, 
the original transporter which is a really good one granted the hp stat kind of wasted on her but it's the only w engine that increased our impact and obviously for obvious reason these are king signature weapon this monster of a thing like the thing is insane is like it's a stark difference and I seen some people recommend use some stun um, W engines because for one, a lot of them can have impact, but then at that point, the they it still loses out to the original transporter. So they just suck it up and use this. Like if you're free to play, use this. If you're a whale, go figure. You you're lucky. You win in life. But uh, for all of us, this is our main choice. And sorry, this is so short, but I'm trying new things and. Uh, this weapon, this is your only option. Use this, and if you can, do this, okay? Not yet, don't even consider any other options, okay? Hey, look, I'm back. Hey, look, I'm back. And I guess what it is, we gotta talk about the drive this situation because, for one, it's actually really simple because, for one, since she scaled up impact, we can get that through substat, but we can definitely get that through some two piece set and a main stat. Thought you look here, like, don't mind my bill because it kind of cursed because, you know, I don't have access to the test server and get kind of bent over by RNG, so this all I have to do for now, but you, obviously, for obvious reasons, slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, they have fixed main stats, but slot 5, there's a few options, the main choice and the most common choice people recommend you, which will, I will be recommending you too, is impact because it's like the only real way of getting it and out of few stuff and i would just recommend it for most people and you could go recharge to get like more perfect counter but come on just go impact you know stuff there so just go impact then here's the thing since her shield and the main thing about her right the shield skills of impact you can actually build up a damage which i really want to do just I'm kind of fucked over because for one, I barely have any good physical stuff. I kind of force you defense for now, but for this slot here, you can go physical damage or attack. It, like you pick your poison basically, and I go. I want the build tree for that. Like it shouldn't be your main priority. Obviously, you want to go for the tanking priority. This is something you can just do to like mid max. So I would say right because it's not even neglectful and could add up especially when the fact that using her for a perfect counter just yeah, for the shield like doing extra damage oh it's nice man for the last slot was lost four because i don't know why i go instead of going up and down i went down and up it don't mind that okay you have a few options you can go crit rate crit damage or you can go like on normally proficiency like uh, there's a lot you can do with this but again if you need this is not big priority because again all you care about is the shield but this is something you can just do just for like damage and something you can add on or improve upon just for mid maxing and yeah huh i'm an idiot i was supposed to talk about the set then the main set whatever give me a second okay the reason why i want to recommend this set because obviously the 15 percent shield train on caesar is nice granted i don't think it goes for the other characters but uh, for one, the four P is actually really good because if Caesar King or like um, any squad member like trigger a perfect assist or base as this, like all your, your damage will just increase by 15%. So that pretty sort of go for. And then like for a two P, like let me see if I can find this. Okay, I found it. And then this is the two P you should go for because this is another way we can get more impact, which is kind of rare to come by. So go with the shocker this because that's for the two you just need the two piece basically and you can use other stuff like i've seen people recommend her using the anomaly four piece because she can easily trigger it for the for this buff you can give your whole team so either jazz set or the new defense set like you got lots of options like uh, you don't really need to worry about like trying to get the best thing but I would say at least try to at least get this impact two piece at least, okay? 
Alright, now here's like the simple part because for one, for like a best teammate, because for one, all the balls basically work with any DPS or any teammates in the game, but with the big one that actually really benefits having three to pair with them, and one of the characters being Soldier 11 because for one, non interruption, very nice, and she, the attack bonus paired up with someone like Lucy, like. Soldier 11 had a big glow up in his patch. And of course, you got the physical carries being Nakamara, Corrin, Bailey, like, they get to a big power spike with Caesar King. And even though Nakamata and Caesar King may have some like anti synergy code with Nakamata, you wanna keep dodging. But the thing is, you still wanna keep dodging with Neko, but also at the same time, Neko also heavily benefits from Caesar attack buff and the damage taken to the enemies. Like, it's still a really good buff for Nekamata. She has some synergy with a normal character, specifically with Jane, but when Granny come out, it'll definitely get better, but it's something you can do on. She can be a good sub in for character that you miss in role too. Like, like if you have Ellen and Shakaku, like Caesar can be a good sub in if you don't have Lycan. But if you have Lycan, for how specialized he is for I care, they like obviously Lycan will be better, but Caesar King can still fill in role. And same thing can go for Zu Yuan if you don't have Chingy. And like buffing up Zu Yuan with obviously Nicole buffs and Zu Yuan buffs and having that shield on Zu Yuan been really good. So like that's like Zu's biggest strength for how flexible she is being fit in legit any team in the game. Like Zu's to give you everything you want. Strong shield, like big buff, breedable, like what more you can want, am I right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I know a lot of people are not gonna have see the islands, but you should know about this because you might go for them or you're gonna go for them anyways or you want someone to confirm your bias, so here you go. Alright, so when Caesar enter battle or switches, she instantly buffs the entire team with this Radiant Agent Shield. This effect can be triggered every 300 seconds, so damn. And while this effect is active in a 5 meter radius, they will take an extra increased 15% damage reduction, which is honestly really good for C1. Like, if you accidentally get this, we'll put in some Piper, Constellations, or like, you're going for it, like, this is pretty good. Okay, C2 is, what the fuck, is this E2 or M2 or whatever the hell it's called, like, so while this Radiant Agent form, Please a call passive, which is the attack buff. Please an energy regeneration increased by 10%. Hog, but then her attack boost is increased to 150%. Like, good lord. Like, I don't know the exact value, but let's just say instead of a thousand attack, like, it's gonna be absurd. Like, this is like competing with like some buffers in this game. Like, damn. And of course, you know, C3, then you got the C5, it just stats increases, and you guys don't really care about that, but look at the E4. So when C3 uses so a chain attack or ultimate, she gains 3 additional stack of this point, that's for like the charge attack. And if her energy is below 20%, she can actively use her X special attack, which is like the counter, which is actually really good. So what this essentially tells you, the fact that you can use like her perfect counter even though she doesn't have enough for like her X special so damn. Alright lastly we have E6 and <laughs> oh, good lord father help us so E special attack whatever the hell that word is or follow up attack are granted to the target a critical hit the scale damage increased by oh my goodness gracious <laughs> By 50% and deals 50% more, oh, 50% more damage to the primary target. Where Caesar uses her X special attack or follow attack. Oh my goodness gracious. So this is a Zuyu one buff. And basically, this is a full on G like a sub DPS or main DPS because 6 30% crit rate. That's like the same amount you get for Zuyu one using her X special. By just landing a crit so yeah this is definitely telling you to go with crit and then a free 60 percent crit damage for 15 seconds it's mad like damn this season really is the king for real like i would say right for stopping point like i would recommend you try to get a w engine if you're going for trying to upgrade her then go for islands but you can pretty much not go wrong if you go like signature with the m2 like that pre pog M4 is kind of decent, but the M6 is 
good lord like if you are caesar man like rejoice to get to see six or cry and suffering because you know you'll never get this so yeah i'm sorry guys <laughs> Alright, so I think about my final thought about Caesar King is the fact that I think Caesar King is such a powerful character, the fact that she does like so much and for so little like effort, like it's insane for new players who missing out specific characters. And then the fact that with Caesar being a game, now more physical can actually be pretty viable with Kaiper Wheel, Caesar King and another physical like DPS like we're just waiting for like more stuff and i can understand if you want to skip you or not but if i were to recommend you pull someone like these are king definitely has a like, lot of value and i think she can definitely has what it takes to withstand like power creep specifically because like they will legit have to make a carbon copy of her and i doubt they're gonna make anything like see the king in a while so her value is definitely high by default so I definitely am very impressed and I definitely been enjoying Caesar King like she is such a godsend for my account and I just love she like I know people call she boring I know people like they hate on her because like Twitter being Twitter but we're not real so they're not real by default <laughs> but I really love this character and I think the character will like be a great character and I know maybe I may agree she and I may be riding her dick and maybe in a good ride, like I can say that much, being too horny now. But I generally think Caesar is honestly amazing. And uh, I generally think Caesar King is amazing, in my personal opinion. And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, or you can just put your opinion down in the comment section, of course, if you want to. I definitely love Caesar King. She might be growing as one of my favorite characters because I enjoy she. And also, side note, let me know if you like this voice because I'm instead of using like CapCut to talk over the microphone setting. I'm using like the built-in cream recorder mic connected to my own microphone and let me know if that sounds better like you like it more or go back there to the CapCut stuff because I have a bit of CapCut and half of it me talking through like the screen recorder so let me know. And I know I've been lazy but hey I got a lot of video planned out some big ones some small ones I got a lot so stick around for HSR videos and Zemus videos maybe a Genshin video here and there like I got plans but yeah that really is so guys thanks for watching I do appreciate you for sure and of course let me know what you guys think what I say because at the end of the day I'm not gonna kill you meh I probably might kill you but at the same time still comment anyways because I love that stuff but anyway guys final thought is I love Caesar King to death too and I think moving forward I'm gonna try to go back with a little more effort to my content and if you do like the video and want to support me hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and also if you guys want to talk to me or pick my brain out or anyone in my community i do have my discord server you can join down in the pinned comment or my description if you want to talk to me or anyone in my community come by i'd love to see you there but with all that said take care love you guys and i'll see you on the next video goodbye